Mom, do you really have to go? Yes, Luna. You know me and your father have fulfilled our duties. Having you and Celestia to take care of Equestria while we go adventure the universe. But me and Tia, we're not ready. I mean, I don't feel old enough. Me and your father were a similar age when we took over Equestria. It's your time, Luna. <sighs> when will we next see you? I'm not sure, but we will return one day. Okay. And remember, you're going to be ruler of the night. You know what that means. To rule the night is to stay away from the light. We are merely the shadows of what the daytime rulers do. And that is your father and your sister. She's the star of the show. Not exactly. You can't have the day without the night. Yeah, I guess. Lavender, it's time to go. Yes, we believe in you two. Now is your time. Be good. Did I fall asleep? Hello, Sleeping Beauty, and yes, you did. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was meant to be doing those letters with you. Yes, but you were so tired from your duties in the night that I couldn't bear to wake you. It's fine, I got it sorted myself. Great, thanks, Tia. Oh. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just had a weird dream. Really? What about? Oh, you wouldn't want to know. Why? Is it scary? No, it'll just make you go weird. Oh, is it about a crush? Oh, for goodness sake, it was about mom and dad. Oh, see, I knew you'd be worried about it. You don't like talking about mom and dad. You get all teary. No, I don't. It's fine, we don't have to talk about it. It's just, they said they'd come back and... It's been hundreds of years. Yeah, I know. Well, it's their problem. They don't want to see their daughters all grown up? That's their loss. I bet we do a much better job of ruling than they ever did. Yeah, and they definitely don't throw us good dinner parties. Oh yes, our royal dinner party. Yeah, what time did you tell Twilight, Cadence, Shining Armor, and Flurry Heart to come? I told them to come for around five, you know, to give them the day to get ready. Sweet, means I have time to play some video games. I'm so sorry for disturbing your majesties, but one of your guests has arrived. What? They're too early! Hello! Twilight! You're early! <laughs> exactly three hours early. Well, you know, being on time is always late. Ugh, it's really not. Sorry, I hope I'm not ruining plans or anything. Nope, me and Luna are actually done with writing our letters, so it works perfectly. Ugh, I wanted to play video games. Yeah, I was in the middle of playing Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, what should we do? Shall we start dinner early? Huh? What's that? Is one of you using magic? No, this isn't me. Me neither. <gasps> it can't be. Uh... Are we under attack? Mom? Dad? What? what? Oh, come on, Dad, Dad I can't oh, believe you're here. Oh, we missed you so you much. For so long? Uh, I didn't know they had parents. Yeah, they've never mentioned them. Not in any book I've read. <gasps> so they know the whole of Equestria before Lunar and Celestia even existed. Do you know how amazing that is? Whoa, they must be really old. I'm so sorry we we're gone for so long, my girls. It's okay, you're back now. I mean, it was a long time. Well, we had important duties to take care of. Well, we have so much to fill you up on. <clears throat> huh? Hello. <laughs> oh, Mom, Dad, this is Twilight Sparkle and Spike the Baby Dragon. She was my most faithful student at magic school. You allow your students to come into your castle? That's generous. Well, she isn't a student anymore. She is, in fact, a princess. Nice to meet you, your majesties. I'm Twilight Sparkle, Princess of Friendship. A pleasure to meet you, dear. My name is Queen Lavender. I'm King Goldcrest, but I'm sure we don't have to tell you that. Oh, so you're the king and queen. I always wondered why Celestia and Luna were just princesses. Wait, 
you don't know who we are? Well, dear, it has been a few years. 1,223 to be exact. Oh, really? I, I guess we just lost track of time, didn't we, dear? Still, I would have hoped you'd pass down our teachings, Celestia. You may be the ruler now, but citizens deserve to know about all their past kings and queens. Yes, uh, of course, Dad. Uh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> so, Princess Twilight, if you are a princess like you say, where's your crown? Um... She left it at home. Yes, because it's super heavy and itchy. Hmm... Uh, shall we take you on a tour around Cantalot Castle? You can see how much it's changed. Oh yes, I'd love to see what you've done to the place. Okay, follow me. I don't think they like me. No, Twilight, I wouldn't say they don't like you. They just don't really know you. Hmm. Look, they're just very traditional ponies. They haven't been here for over a thousand years, and the way they did things was a lot stricter than what me and Celestia did. It's just, I'd love to make a great impression to the two rulers of Equestria. Uh, which is me and Celestia. Yeah, of course, but I mean, you know, the rulers. Queen and king? That is a big title. <sighs> Whatever, come on, let's catch up with them. Spike, if Lunar and Celestia's parents ask who you are, you're my servant. And over there under the sea, there's actually a sea kingdom called Sequestria. You have sea ponies. Mm-hmm. And that's when Twilight helped them become hippogriffs again. Yeah, uh, me and my friends, the Elements of Harmony, really saved the day. <laughs> Ugh. Oh look, you can see my castle! Right next to the friendship school I run. <laughs> well, it's all very impressive. So, tell me, Luna. Why did your sister decide to turn a student into a princess and over something as silly as friendship? Twilight's a good princess, Dad. And she also did a lot to save Equestria multiple times. Her and her friends were the Elements of Harmony. You let them use the Elements of Harmony? Yes. They even became the Elements. That's what I'm saying. Twilight is the element of magic, and she even solved Starswirl the Bearded's spell. Well, Starswirl the Bearded's spells are impressive. But still, I don't understand why that's princess material. I do hope you've been staying in the background, not causing too much trouble for your sister. It's been fine, Dad. We're still here, aren't we? Equestria's still standing. Hmm. Is that why you came back? Just to check up on us? Well, yes. You are our daughters. Well, I'm glad you came back. Your Majesties, you have more guests. Oh, that'll be Cadence and Shining Armor. Who? Hello! Hi! <laughs> Another alicorn! I see. Shining Armor, Cadence, these are me and Luna's parents. King Goldcrest and Queen Lavender. I'm sorry that my daughters did not tell you about us. Parents? Is this canon? <laughs> Hi, Flurry Heart. Oh, what a lovely baby alicorn. Reminds you of when Celestia and Luna were little. Yeah, she came as quite a shock, considering I was born a Pegasus. What? But you're an alicorn. Yeah, Cadence was born as Pegasus, but she was related to the last princess of the Crystal Empire. And so we sort of took her under our wing and made her an alicorn. Yeah, just like me. I was a unicorn, now an alicorn. Is there a problem? Mom? Dad? Uh, no, dear, we just haven't heard of that before. Yes, I've got to say, it is unusual to make royalty of unicorns and pegasi. Yeah, but now we're alicorns with alicorn magic. Your majesties, your dinner is ready. Well, mother, father, I'll show you to the dining room. Come on, everyone. So that's Lunar and Celestia's parents? They're kind of... Strange. I do remember Celestia talking about them, but she said she hadn't seen them in years. Yep, over a thousand years. Luna says they're really traditional, and I don't think they're happy with how Celestia and Luna ran things here while they were gone. Well, we'll just have to show them how great they've been to us. Come on, we've all got to be in our best behavior. Whoa. Do I still have to pretend to be a servant? Yes, now come on, Spike. Huh? Thank you for the coffee, you may go, servant. Yeah, sure. 
How are you finding the food? It's good. Much better than how I remembered it. <laughs> oh, you must come visit the Crystal Empire. We do these donuts with special crystal sprinkles and they're beautiful. Yes, I do have vague memories of the Crystal Empire. Is King Sombra still there? Uh, no. Father, he's a villain. Oh, he is? I had fond memories of him. I think you're getting mixed up with Star Swirl the Bearded, darling. Mom, how did you think I did with bringing on the night? Oh, it's been very impressive, Luna. You're doing a terrific job. I'm very proud. Yeah, Luna's come a long way. I mean, I know she's had her ups and downs with Nightmare Moon and all. <gasps> Nightmare Moon? Yeah, it's sort of the Nightmare version of Luna, right? Uh, Luna became that because she was jealous of all the glory that Celestia was getting from bringing on the day. But thanks to Twilight and her friends with the elements of harmony, they managed to save her. And now night and day is treated equally. What? Mum, Dad, let me explain. It's not Luna's fault. You can't blame her for becoming that way. I mean, no wonder she got into a jealous rage. Only I got the glory and it wasn't fair for her. It's okay, Celestia. You don't have to defend me. I know I messed up, but I can't help but think part of the blame is because of you, Mom and Dad. The way you made me think I had to be Celestia's shadow in order to be a good ruler of the night really wasn't fair. But that's what I had to do for your father for many years. Ponies stay awake in the daytime. They go to sleep during the night. That's how it works. That doesn't make Luna any less powerful though. And what about letting a random unicorn use the elements of harmony? It's really irresponsible, girls. Me and your mom were thinking you would be fine. When we came back here, we made an agreement that if things weren't good, we would come back to rule. And after this, I think the decision is inevitable. <sighs> it upsets me to say this, daughters, but you must step down. This just isn't working. What? what? Look, if you did a better job, we would leave you as rulers, but you clearly need help. Help? They need help? You're the ones that need the help. Do you know how much Luna and Celestia have helped Equestria the past few decades while you two were off on your little adventures? You left them at a young age and they've had to face all these villains and make all these decisions without you. Can you be surprised they're different from what you chose? While well, you're forgetting that King Sombra was a villain, they were defeating him. Your views are old, like yourselves. She did not just say that. You know, they even had to face this really annoying villain, he's called Discord, don't know if you heard of him, the worst. And they did that without you. So you just can't waltz back in here thinking you can rule Equestria. Celestia was my teacher, my mentor, and she was also like a mother to me. She helped me become the princess who I am today. And with the princess's help, we went through so many trials and tribulations with Equestria, and it's never been better here, especially with the magic of friendship. Yeah! Well, I can see why you took such a shine to her, Celestia. She's definitely passionate. Thank you. I can't say we've ever had a subject talk about us like that. Hmm. Maybe we came too close-minded. Uh, really? Yes, we were hard on you girls. Especially you, Luna. And I know you went through a tough time, and you say you got through it together, and that's all that mattered to me and your father. That you got through things together. When me and your mother began to rule Equestria, we did it different to how my parents did it too. And I suppose it's just tough accepting that. The times in Equestria have changed, and like Twilight said, we're old. Uh, well, not that old. <laughs> I think it's best we take our leave. Thank you very much for your hospitality. It was nice to meet you, Princess Cadence Shining Armor, and uh... Oh, uh, this is Flory Heart. They're going again? Just like that. Look, I know I blew up at them, but you need to say your goodbyes. They're your parents, and who knows when they'll next be back. <sighs> hey, do you think we work through things together well? Of course, sweetie. More coffee! Huh? You can stop pretending to be a servant now, Spike. Oh, thank goodness. Are you ready to go, dear? Yes, our daughters will be better off without our influence. Wait! Hmm? You can't just go like that. Look, we were mad at you, but you're our parents. And we love you. 
We thought what we were doing was the right thing for you. I know. You did what you thought was best for us, but we're just asking you to see it from our perspective now. You two truly do work well together, and that is important. You've already made me proud, even if I may have been a bit off at times with some of your new ventures. Well, you know you can stay longer if you want. Yeah, you're yet to see Celestia rise the sun. She does an amazing job. I'm sorry, sweetie, but we came here to see if you were settled, and you are, so it's time for us to go. You're doing your duties well here, but that doesn't mean me and your mother's mission has stopped yet. Will you ever come back? Of course. <sighs> Thank Bye. you for having me. I love you so much. Please travel so sorry about so the so much. That's sappy. Shh. So long. We'll miss you. You okay? I've got you, silly. Okay, so I know I sort of wrecked the dinner table when I was making my speech before at your parents, but we sort of scraped some cake off the floor and we're gonna have dessert? You want any? Ew, absolutely not. <gasps> yes, please. <laughs> I think I'm the only sane one in this family.